Black holes are scary enough in themselves. Huge and invisible, they lurk everywhere in space, devouring everything that comes near them. On Earth, we've actually been very reassured so far to know that the nearest known black hole is 1,000 light years away. But then last year came the frightening news. Scientists have for the first time identified a black hole that is moving rapidly through space. Find out where this eerie phenomenon is located, how far it is from Earth, and whether this frighteningly beautiful discovery poses a threat to our lives on Earth in this video. Wandering Black Holes In June 2022, two research teams from the US at once announced the unbelievable. Both groups had independently made a stunning discovery. Black holes are not easy to spot in themselves, but these scientists succeeded for the first time in observing a black hole wandering in isolation in space. The detection of a real, vagrant black hole is the first evidence of an object of this kind in the world. The proof was achieved with the help of data from the Hubble Space Telescope and thanks to a very special technique. For years, researchers analyzed observations from the Hubble Space Telescope. The black hole was finally detected from microlensing or the gravitational lensing effect. In the gravitational lensing effect, the gravity of any massive foreground object distorts a star behind it, amplifying its light. Thus, the black hole in the foreground became visible only because the star in the background shone much brighter than it actually would at that distance. The research team from the Space Telescope Science Institute was able to determine that the foreground object must be 5,153 light years away. Years passed before it was finally determined that the object was indeed a black hole. Hundreds of astronomical measurements were necessary to analyze the exact displacement of the background star by the foreground object and to determine the mass of the object with certainty. Almost simultaneously with the team from the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, a group of scientists in the University of California at Berkeley worked on the project. Black Hole or Neutron Star Although both research teams were able to provide evidence for the isolated black hole wandering in space at almost the same time, the scientists have so far disagreed on some important details. The team around Chief Astronomer Kailash Sahu from the Space Telescope Science Institute came up with a size of 7.1 solar masses. Casey Lamb and her team from the University of California, on the other hand, determined a maximum of 4.4 solar masses. If Sahu is right, the object is certainly a black hole. If Casey Lamb's results are correct, the object could also be a neutron star. Regardless of which one it is, this object is the first dark stellar relic to move through the galaxy completely free and unaccompanied by other objects. So despite these differences, the scientists are already assured of success. They are also celebrating the first detection of a stellar object that could only be tracked down with the help of gravitational lensing. This alone is considered a sensation in scientific circles, and researchers are currently working on improving this technique further and further in order to be able to detect even more fascinating objects. Researchers also disagree on the speed of the object. Sahu and his team came up with 45 kilometers per hour, while Lamb's scientists calculated 30 kilometers per hour. The last point of disagreement is the name. The black hole racing through our galaxy was once given the name MOA-2011-BLG-191 and OGLE-2011-BLG-0462. What is also certain at this time is that MOA-2011-BLG-191 and OGLE-2011-BLG-0462 are not the only vagabond black hole in the cosmos. Lamb and her team at the University of California suspect that there are dozens, if not thousands, of free-roaming black holes. Could these objects be dangerous to us? As breathtaking as these images are, the sight of a black hole traveling so freely and quickly through the galaxy can also cause trepidation. 
especially when you consider that these objects suck up anything that comes near them. Fortunately, at just over 5,000 light years away, this object is still far enough away. Finally, we can only observe the past with our telescopes, so we don't know exactly how far the black hole is from us today, nor exactly where it is. We also do not know if there is another black hole somewhere in our vicinity that we have not yet been able to find with our technical possibilities. The reassuring thing is that the proximity of such a giant would certainly make itself felt and that there are no such indications at present. In the environment of our solar system, unusual distortions would occur. The orbits of stars and planets would suddenly deviate. Black holes also emit gravitational waves on certain occasions, which we can detect on Earth with very fine measuring instruments and also determine their origin. So far, we can give the all clear in this respect, but we humans can never be completely sure that such a colossus will not appear on our cosmic doorstep at some point. Even then, there would be several possibilities. The black hole could pass by or it could pull planets of our system into its spell and slowly swallow our solar system. These processes would still take hundreds of thousands of years. Up to now, it's also not completely clear how the eating behavior of isolated wandering black holes is. Because of their own motion within space-time, they could be less interested in swallowing matter and more interested in motion. Black holes do not only act like vacuum cleaners during their wanderings, by their immense gravitation and their effects in areas of dark matter and dark energy, they probably also contribute considerably to the structuring of the galaxy. We need to find out more about this phenomenon. Nancy Grace Telescope Since last summer, the James Webb Space Telescope has been providing the best and most detailed views of space to date. While that mission has just launched and scientists are in the process of evaluating the latest sensational measurement data, NASA is already planning the next stroke of genius. In 2027, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is scheduled to finally replace the old Hubble Telescope. The new telescope is named after Nancy Grace Roman, a former U.S. astronomer and NASA's first astronomy officer. Nancy Grace is expected to function similarly to Hubble and be able to use the gravitational lensing effect like no telescope before it. The brand new telescope will differ from Hubble and James Webb primarily in having a much larger field of view. Hubble and Webb are good at magnifying small parts of the sky, but Nancy Grace will be able to produce infrared images 200 times larger than Hubble's. The focus of the new mission will thus be less on taking fantastic, razor-sharp images of space phenomena, as Webb currently does. Nancy Grace will be more of a telescope for purely scientific studies. Black Hole at the Center of the Milky Way Scientists also hope the new telescope will provide more detailed insights into the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Its existence was first predicted in the 1960s by U.S. physicist and astronomer Dr. Donald Lyndon Bell. In the 1980s, the existence of the black hole was confirmed by observing the motion of stars in the center of the Milky Way. The black hole, named Sagittarius A star, has a mass of about 4.3 million solar masses. It's the largest known black hole in our galaxy and one of the most massive objects in the universe known to date. Presumably, the shape and motions of our galaxies were formed by this supermassive black hole. The extreme gravitational force provides a center of gravity in the middle of the disc-shaped spiral arms. The mass compresses space-time so much that it pulls the surrounding stars and gas clouds into a spiral. This effect is called an accretion disc and generates enormous energies in the form of X-rays. The strong gravitational forces affect the motions and evolution of the stars near it, and presumably, the forces affect all objects in the galaxy. We are in one of the outer spiral arms, but also, our movement is determined very probably by Sagittarius A star. 
Researchers have not yet been able to fully clarify how the black hole in the center of the Milky Way was formed. One of the leading theories is that supermassive black holes can form from smaller black holes and neutron stars that collapse and coalesce near the center of a galaxy. This process is called a galactic collision and over millions of years leads to the formation of a supermassive black hole and in the end, very probably to the formation of the beautifully shaped galaxies as we know them. Another theory is that supermassive black holes can be formed by a massive accretion of gas. This would mean that the black hole at the center of the Milky Way could have formed from a huge cloud of gas that collapsed and condensed into a supermassive black hole. Another possibility is that Sagittarius A star was formed from a particularly massive star that collapsed in a supernova explosion at the end of its life. At the beginning of our cosmos, there exist blue giant stars of incredible luminosity, but only with a comparatively short lifetime. It's conceivable that the collapse of this first generation of stars laid the foundation for supermassive black holes and thus for galaxy formation. Observation nevertheless remains a challenge. Despite their size, black holes remain objects that are difficult to observe because of their strong gravitational pull and impenetrable nature. Because they do not produce or emit light themselves, they are like invisible holes in the cosmos, spots where there is seemingly nothing. One of the most important ways to observe black holes is to analyze the motion of stars and gas clouds near them. When a black hole is near stars or gas clouds, they are affected by the gravitational pull of the black hole in a typical way. Another method is to observe radiation emitted by matter drawn near the black hole. As matter falls into the accretion disk around the black hole, it heats up and emits radiation that can be observed in different wavelength ranges. A third method is to observe gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are tiny distortions in space-time that can be produced by extremely massive objects such as merging black holes. By observing these gravitational waves, astronomers can also draw conclusions about the presence and properties of black holes. Although we now know so much about the black giants of the universe, these mysterious objects still hold many secrets. We all hope that the new telescopes will bring us important further knowledge about black holes. But what do you think is behind black holes? Do you also think they fulfill some higher purpose in our universe? Or do you see them only as a threat that should better stay as far away from us as possible? We welcome your opinions and discussions on the topic and hope you had a great time. We'll see you next time at Simply Space.